This nation was founded on a spirit of mateship. A mateship forged in the fire of battle. That mateship still exists today. You can see it every weekend on patches of grass all over the country. And that's why the Men of League Foundation was formed. It's mates helping mates. Yeah, the Men of League Foundation is about helping people in the rugby league family who have fallen hard times. Uh, not just players, but everyone. Uh, it all started when I went to visit my daughter in hospital in Milton and uh, there was a nurse there and she told me that uh, there was an old footballer up the other end and uh, in, the, in the wards and I went up to visit him and found it was Doug McRitchie. What I like about being involved with the Men of League is that many of the former elite and even today's elite players are giving their time to help others who have fallen on difficult times, whether it be through fundraising or just visiting people in hospitals. You, you do, as a young man, feel bulletproof. Um, the men will leave there to assist you, and uh, we're there to assist them. I could rattle off uh, just a couple of big, big names, as in Ian Walsh and Reg Gasnier. You know, they, they uh, they're struggling with uh, injuries and. Uh, uh, with the men of league, well, they're, they're, they're the first ones there to, to help. Another part of what we do is the scholarship and mentoring program for young players who don't make the grade and need a life after football. NRL clubs these days are like businesses and they have to get some return on their investment and they decided that I wasn't the investment for the next year's season. And unfortunately I had to decide whether I'd keep my dream alive and play local football, move into state or to have a change and uh, go to university and pursue my university studies. With the help of the Mental League, that decision became very easy and their funding helped me. And one day, with the help of the Mental League, I might become a lawyer. One of the most significant things the Men of League Foundation has been involved in over the past few years is the development of the Harborside Haven villages at Nelson's Bay, where we've been able to obtain six rooms there in partnership with that establishment. I, I think basically it's for anyone who, who needs support or help in any way. Um, they, they're just there. 